Hi, my name's Eleanor Bell. I'm a lighting designer, light artist and fully qualified electrician and this is Lightbulb Moments. In this video we're going to cover how to choose a light bulb. Have you ever been into a DIY store and then faced with a massive wall of light bulbs and just thought, oh my goodness, where do I begin? Well, this is going to help you. There are five steps to follow. One is choosing the right technology, the right fit, the right brightness, the right colour, and then finally if you want any effects. So I'm going to go through them one by one. Firstly, choosing the right technology. Well, this is a really easy choice because it's all LED technology now. We have had incandescent light bulbs, halogen energy saver light bulbs, and compact fluorescent light bulbs. However, LED has replaced them all because they're just far more efficient and last a lot longer. And they now have the right colors and the brightness to match the others. The next thing to consider is the fit. Now there are two parts of this, the cap and the shape. So the cap is the part of the light bulb which fits in the lamp holder and the shape is the shape of the glass on top. So firstly, probably which we're most familiar with, is bare neck cap where you put it in and twist it. That comes in two sizes, bare neck cap and small bare neck cap, which are also known as B22 and B15. Then Edison screw, which you twist in, that comes in two sizes, ES for Edison screw and SES, small Edison screw, and they're also known as E27 and E14. Then for downlights and spotlights, it's most commonly GU10 with these two prongs which you push in and twist. This, they can also have the MR16 fittings, which has these two spikes. There are two sizes to this, MR16 and M11. Now, personally, I don't like these so much because the connections are often loose and faulty, but you can get an electrician to easily convert those fittings to take a GU10 light bulb. And finally, we have the G9 and G4 um, smaller light bulbs, which just push in, which are often for things like mirror lights. So once you've got the cap, you need to then get the shape on top. And for this, the traditional light bulb shape, which we're also familiar with, is called GLS. Then you have for smaller lights, like wall lights and chandeliers, you have a choice of candle or got golf ball. And then you've also got the option of a globe light bulb, which is much bigger, which is great for large pendants. The third consideration is the right brightness. So traditionally, we've um, measured light bulbs in watts, so 40 watts, 60 watt, 100 watt. But actually, watts is a measurement of the energy consumption of the light bulb, not the actual light output. Lumens measures the brightness. So watts is a misleading guide and really you want to look at the lumens on the packet. So as a rough translation, 100 watts, to old school light bulbs, 100 watt light bulbs is 1500 lumens. An old school 60 watt light bulb is 800 lumens and a 40 watt light bulb is 450 lumens. Next, you need to look for the right color. And by this, I mean the right color white, because who knew there were so many different variations within white? Now the color temperature is measured in Kelvin and this is the next important number to look out for. 2700 Kelvin is the color of the traditional light bulbs, a lovely warm light, which is great for domestic environments. If you want something for your office or home office, 4000 Kelvin is a more natural white, a brighter white. Um, and, then that, and then if you're doing needlework or artwork, you'll want to look for 6000 Kelvin, which is more akin to daylight at midday. Now, color temperature is hugely important. It's not just visual, it also has an impact on our body clock and our physiology. But I go into this in a lot more detail in another video and the link of which will be below. Your final decision is whether or not you need a dimmable light bulb. Now, LED, dimmable LED light bulbs don't work with traditional dimmers. So you may also need to upgrade your dimmer switch. But I go into this in a lot more detail in another video and the link is below. That's it for this week. Thank you very much for listening. See you next time.